So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this makeup right here. This is the look I was wearing in my August favorites. And in the description, I asked you guys, comment below if you want a tutorial. And a lot of you guys commented that you wanted a tutorial on it. A lot of you guys really, really liked that look. Thank you so much. It was the exact same look I was wearing in a picture I had posted on Instagram. Here I am filming it for you. And this video is different in two ways. It is not a voiceover. It is a talk-through tutorial, so I might be long and it might be weird. And two is I actually show you applying my falsies this time. I never show me applying my falsies on camera, but this time I'm doing it because I have a little trick that I learned and you guys really liked my lashes. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my face, which is rare for me, but I don't find that I get a lot of fallout with the eyeshadow look that I'm doing today, so I'm going to do my face first. And I'm going to prime my face with my baby. This is the Too Faced Hangover Primer with coconut water, electrolytes, and probiotics. I find that it really does prolong the wear of my makeup, and it moisturizes really well. And another thing that I didn't mention in my favorites video, it smells really good. Smells like coconuts. Definitely if you are somebody with large pores um, and dry skin, then I would use this in conjunction with like a silicone base primer. Okay, so the foundation I'm using is my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation in medium beige. And this is really rare, but I'm using a buffing brush from Real Techniques to apply that. Especially with this foundation, I always use my beauty blender. But... I don't know why I'm not using it today. Just in the mood to use this brush, I guess. Really quickly, I'm going to prime my eyelids. Um, I'm not going to do my eyes right now, but I'm just going to prime them because I like to put a little bit of concealer on them when I'm using my concealer. And this is just going to help my concealer not crease at all. I seriously need to switch it up and start using a different concealer. You guys are probably like, Maybelline fed me again. But it's so hydrating and creamy and delicious and I can't get enough. Blending that out with my trusty contour brush from Real Techniques. I have like a Harry Potter birthmark in between my eyebrows. So I like concealing that. This is why I don't do voiceovers, because I just start talking all sorts of weird stuff. Hey. I mean, this is why I only do voiceovers. You see? What am I saying? Hey. Yes? Come here. I'm busy. Come here. I can't at this moment. Please, come here. But I really cannot. One second. I really can't. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm taking this on my eyelids. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. I'll be right back. Okay, now that I look crazy, like an alien, I'm gonna set my under eye concealer with Max Emphasize Powder. By the way, you do not need a pro card or to be a pro member to get this. I got mine online. If you have a pro store near you, that works. Oh, this is not the brush I wanted to use. Elf Small Tapered Brush. I haven't had my coffee today. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee. I'm only using like three eyeshadows in this look aside from my brow bone highlight. So it is incredibly easy, almost too easy. Taking Creme Brulee, 
I'm gonna take this on a fluffy brush and I'm gonna apply this to my crease. And I'm not gonna be very precise with this, I want this to go everywhere. Next, I'm gonna take Makeup Geek's Unexpected eyeshadow. It's such a pretty, like, muted gray purple. And I'm gonna put this right where we put creme brulee. And then I'm gonna take Cupcake from Makeup Geek and I'm gonna do the same thing. Just apply this, or where? And then I'm gonna do the whole process again, just on my lid. And you could totally not do this in sections. You could do your whole lid and your crease at the same time. But I'm a weirdo. Now I'm just gonna go back into my fluffy brush, back into creme brulee, and just blend everything out. Just like buff it all out. Remember, this is a very messy eye look. You know, just everything nice and blown out. Yeah. I'm gonna highlight underneath my brow bone with my Physicians Formula Shimmer Strip in Naturally Nude. And I'm gonna mix these two colors right here. And I'm gonna use my Makeup Geek Outer V Brush. For my inner corners right here, I'm gonna take my Josie Marin Coconut Water Eyeshadow in Playa del Pink. Yes, Playa del Pink. And I'm just gonna stamp this guy right here. You know it looks wicked right now, but I blend it out. And I like using this with this look right here because since everything is matte, I like it to be a little bit shimmery in the inner corners and it's like that pink metallic color so it goes well with this. I'm gonna line my waterline with, can you guess? Maybelline's Master Drama in Midnight Master and I'm gonna tight line as well. Really quickly, I'm gonna curl my lash, oh no, just kidding, no, just kidding. We have more stuff to do. Uh, now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did on my lid. So I'm gonna take creme brulee, smudge it underneath on a pencil brush. Unexpected, smudge it underneath. And then cupcake and smudge it underneath. Quickly curling my lashes, and I'm gonna apply some mascara. I'm gonna use my Perversion from Urban Decay that came in my Ipsy bag, and then I'll be right back to show you what I did with my lashes, because I got a lot of questions about them. Okay, so I have finally let my mascara dry a little bit, and now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my falsies. In the picture I posted on Instagram, it was the same day that I filmed my favorites video, and I got tons of questions asking me what eyelashes I was wearing and I actually got this idea from Tenny MissMaven.com on YouTube she actually did this exact thing with her eyelashes so I take no credit for this I actually saw her do this in one of her videos and I thought that it was the most beautiful thing ever so I have been doing it with my lashes and I love it so I just used the regular Ardell natural wispies really inexpensive at the drugstore they're just basic wispy eyelashes but I cut them up I don't know if you could tell I like cut them in four sections so I just took it and literally cut them into four different sections and that's how I applied them onto my lashes so that they are all different lengths and they look kind of wispy I saw her do it in a video and I was like mesmerized they were so pretty so I'm just gonna take a little section like this apply some lash glue from house of lashes Shake it up and let it get tacky. And then I'm gonna apply it downwards like this. I find it is easier for me to do it that way. Oh, 
Okay, so now I'm gonna take the longest section. I don't know if you can see that. It's like the middle part of the wispy and I'm gonna apply it to kind of like the middle right here. I'm gonna leave a tiny little space so that they could look kind of separated. It's basically like applying individual lashes only in four different sections. So it's a little bit easier than individual lashes. Okay, so I went ahead and did this eye too. I'm just waiting for the glue to dry. And I know it's not for everyone. I just think it's really cool like how wispy and like different they look. I don't know. Okay, so now moving on to the rest of my face. Now that all my eye makeup is done, I'm going to do some contouring. I'm going to use my Ben Nye Powder Rouge in contour number one. This is what it looks like. And I'm actually gonna take it on this brush right here from Morphe Brushes, and I'm just gonna take this side and dip it in like this on its side and start to contour like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just buff it out with the fluffy part, or this part right here. Okay, and then take it to my temples and onto the tops of my forehead just to make it look a little smaller. I'm gonna put some underneath my chin. Now I'm gonna go in with blush, and I'm gonna take Makeup Geek's Honeymoon Blush. This is what it looks like, it's beautiful. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Blush Brush. And apply some to my cheekbones. I mean, to my cheeks. this blush so much so much next I'm just going to highlight and I'm gonna dunk it rot hers and just add some of that to my cheeks to my cheekbones okay now I'm gonna finish off with my lips and I'm gonna use my Too Faced perfect lips lip liner in perfect nude Then I'm just gonna take um, a little bit of this Too Faced lipstick in Naked Dolly and I'm gonna stamp it right in the middle. Okay guys, so that's it. That completes this makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this look and you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Because you know I'm all about that base, about that base, no trouble. And it moisturizes really well. Well, what? <laughs> oh no. Okay, so now I'm going in with concealer. Seriously, I know oh, no. it's a really pretty mid tone. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom you in. Okay, let me just zoom you in and not talk so much crap. Am I in fuckus? For my inner corners, I'm only gonna do the. You're printing and I can hear it. Well, maybe you should share this room. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -ba 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 -da -da 
They can't see you. It's okay. I don't need them to see me. Oh, what? Is it really like up close? Yeah, because uh, I'm doing it. And on the tops of my foreheads. Foreheads. I only, <laughs> I only have one forehead. Uh, you got like six. You got a six head, girl. You want to get punched in the mouth?